Welcome to Module 7. This is Day 5 and beyond. Congratulations on completing the four days of your DX4. But please remember now on Day 5, this is just the beginning. So how are you going to move forward? First of all, congratulations for completing the DX4 programme and learning that the four days have given you time to pause and to make some shifts in your behaviours, thoughts, food choices and actions. This is just the start and to get the most out of your four day commitment. It's about building on the lessons that you have learnt. A seasonal reset with the DX4 will help balance the body and cultivate a healthier mindset. Put a date in your diary right now for three months from today to complete your next program and work on a fresh goal. As you've reached day five, once again, thinking back to how you were feeling on day one or even the night before you started day one, now write down the difference in how you're feeling. For example, are you feeling happier? Do you feel less bloated? Are you feeling lighter? What about clarity and focus? Your energy levels? Are you feeling more positive and more determined? More aware? Choices of what you choose to eat and drink? And other choices as maybe going to bed at a different time? Drinking more water? having less time on your digital devices, getting outside in fresh air. Are you feeling healthier? Write them down and how you feel. As we hit day five, you may be thinking, I don't know which direction to go in, especially with my food choices. So this is where we're going to have a look at what we call mood foods, happy, healthy mood foods. First of all, from the booklet, the online booklet, there are some really simple recipes for you to enjoy. The vanilla pea protein smoothie. You can continue with the healthy snacks that you had on day three to four. You can make some delicious hummus, the chai pudding, and don't forget to incorporate your big green salad. As we're starting to enjoy different foods, what can you add to your shopping list. So here's a selection for you. First of all, tryptophan actually is an amino acid that helps to produce serotonin. Can you remember what I said about serotonin? Serotonin is referred to as our happy hormone and it makes us feel good. It helps us with our emotions. Now, tryptophan, because it helps to produce serotonin, it's a really good idea to eat foods that are a rich source of tryptophan. So, choose turkey and chicken, salmon, eggs, cheese and milk. Incorporate other foods that have tryptophan. Mood foods such as nuts and seeds, tofu, soya and pineapple. And some other things you can add to your shopping list for your mood foods. Bananas and tomatoes, kiwi, avocado, spinach, sweet potatoes, dates, tamarind, oats, blueberries, as well as cocoa powder and green tea. When we talk about eating water, this is really important to understand that we can eat foods with hidden water. Now, as you've been doing the DX4, you would have been drinking more water at least two litres a day. But did you know that there are certain foods that have a high amount, a high content of water, including our wonderful aloe vera drinking gel? So why do we need water? First of all, water is a key nutrient and our body needs this key nutrient every single day. Often we mistake being hungry for thirst so the first thing that you should do if you think you're feeling hungry is reach for a glass of water, whether hot or cold or a herbal drink. But then after that, the importance of having water in your body is because it helps with biochemical reactions in the body. What are biochemicals? They are the nutrients that you have in your diet. 
your vitamins, your minerals, your amino acids, your enzymes, your coenzymes, they all need to be in the right environment and water will create that. Water is needed for lubricating your joints. Your blood is more than 90% water and we produce saliva and mucus every day and we need water for that. Keeping our skin on the inside as well as the outside plump and he healthy, we need to make sure we're getting enough water. Cushioning the brain and other sensitive organs and flushing away body waste. The breakdown of foods in our digestive system is one of the key things that we need to be doing to get the nutrients into our body. And our body is like a sink without the plug-in and we need to consume at least those two litres of water every day in our drink as well as our foods. So fruits and vegetables are high in water content. So don't just drink water, eat water. The Eat Well guide shows how much of what we eat overall should come from each food group to achieve a healthy, balanced diet. And you do not need to achieve this balance with every meal, but try to get the balance right over the day or even a week.